hey guys in this series of videos i'm going through lots of different ways that you can help yourself deal with stressful situations and the stress that you're feeling at the moment and in this video we're going to talk about something called mind reading Now, this isn't where you actually go around reading other people's minds so that you don't have to revise and in the exam you can just work out what everyone else is thinking. I'm not teaching you how to mind read. The whole point is, you are not a mind reader. Now, I know what it's like. You're really, really stressed and anxious, but sometimes it's hard to say the pinpoint, the way that you're feeling, is due to stress and anxiety. You might be sitting somewhere on a bus and hear some people laughing going, I bet they're laughing at me. Oh, is it, is it my hair? Do I smell? Why are they laughing at me? And this will just make you feel really stressed and anxious and even start to feel it building up. Or if a friend doesn't call you or your boyfriend and girlfriend doesn't call you, you can make assumptions as to why that is. Oh, I bet they found someone else. I bet they hate me. I bet it's because I did this or I didn't do this or I wouldn't do this. You're putting thoughts into other people's heads and you are not a mind reader. You do not know why the people on the bus are laughing or why somebody didn't call you or why somebody walked past you in the corridor. They probably just had something else in their mind. They weren't blanking you. But I know when your hormones are rushing about, the stress and anxiety making you feel pretty rubbish, let's be honest, that sometimes it can feel like everyone is laughing at you, like everyone is ignoring you, like everyone is just walking past you, or the opposite, that everyone is pointing at you. That's not the case. You are not a mind reader. You do not know what these other people are thinking. They're probably just laughing at something they saw on Instagram, or they didn't call you because their phone ran out of battery, or they did something stupid and their parents took their phone off them so they couldn't send you that message. There were lots of other things going on in people's lives that don't revolve around you. I know that's a probably harsh and cutting thing to say, but you have to remember, as busy as you are in your life, as stressed as you are in your life, so is everyone else. So if somebody walks past you in the corridor, it's probably because they were freaking out about their exam or wondering why people were laughing at them on the bus. They weren't laughing at them on the bus. So please, try not to assume that you know what other people are thinking. If something's happened, maybe it's the other person who's having a problem. Maybe somebody didn't call you because they're in the middle of a panic attack and they're really, really stressed. Maybe it has nothing to do with you at all. Maybe they need your help and you can reach out to them and make it a bit better for them. So, if something happens and it makes you really, really paranoid, makes you really, really worried about what other people are thinking, please try to remember that you are not a mind reader. You do not know what is going on in other people's heads, you don't know what's going on in other people's lives, and they are generally not laughing at you or blanking you or ignoring you for a particular reason. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.